Glennon, is he a – is he a starting quarterback in the National Football? I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out. But he is he's the guy there For right now. now. Right. You know the thing about Mike Glennon is he's uh he's a guy that if if he succeeds great, if he doesn't succeed, there's not going to be a, a a long question about okay, we do we need to hold on to this guy a little bit longer because you know, of his history, of his potential, and this and that, you know, it's going to be an easy, it'll be an easier break than it was with number six over the last eight years. <sighs> not so I, you, can you say his name? I mean, I mean, Cutler, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because what does it mean that the team said, we're going to kick the tires on Mike Lennon? We're going to give him the opportunity that he was afforded briefly in Tampa mm -hmm. and then couldn't play his way into in Tampa. We're going to give him that opportunity here, even though we had Cutler at $12.5 million, which in this day and age is kind of dirt cheap. What what should we read into that? Well, it just means we need to move forward. You know, we have to move forward. We're, we're the new regime coming in after the last regime that, uh, that didn't work so well. And uh, we have to make some decisions that – you know, we had a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure from outside from us for us to to uh, rebuild this team mm -hmm. into a winner. And so had Cutler worn out his welcome. I mean, you, had, you put it that you way. Know, he, you had you had eight years a, a chance. You know, I had 12 years. You know, and I didn't win a Super Bowl. You know, he had eight years and and uh, he didn't get he didn't make it happen just like me. So it was time to move what on. What do you mean just like you? I mean, you made a Super Bowl, Lance, if I'm did. not mistaken. Didn't win it. Didn't win it. It's funny. I had Erlacher here in the seat a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. He he kind of danced around the subject too. Yeah, I mean, I, I play defense. You know, I play defense, and so you know, the offensive side of the ball. We never really worried about the offensive side of the ball, and and uh, even in games where we made a lot of plays where we scored touchdowns, mm -hmm. it was always our fault if we didn't win a game. You know, we never it was, it was never the offense's fault. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the way we had to approach each game. You know, you have to do more on defense in order to win games. Lance Briggs here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, last one on Cutler. Based on what you've seen and heard, mm -hmm. the the rap on him is he does not care. Does he care? I think he cares. You know, I'm not gonna say he doesn't care. You know, I just I don't I just don't believe that that he doesn't care. And um, you know. Uh, the, the, the teammates that have been with him these last two years, you know, they've said nothing but positive things. Um, and, uh, you know, when I played with him, you know, he, he competed. He definitely competed. And I know that people didn't like the way that he, he had his, his facial expressions. Mm -hmm. or anything like, I don't think his facial expressions have anything to do with whether he cares or not about football. We also found out he earlier you're, you're, you're a Cutler fan as well. Yes, we heard that. without a doubt. Yeah, You I'll, thought he was – you think he's mm – -hmm. It was one, actually one of my parting gifts that, what, you know, this year mm -hmm. on the show was they gave me a, a Cutler jersey, finally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you a six? Yes, they gave me a six. Where is the six? Uh, 86? Re, re, <laughs> repacked it. <laughs> <laughs> repacked it. <laughs> will no one stand up for this man? I will. Cutler? Yeah, we're pro Cutler over he here. He should Absolutely. be the quarterback of the Jets. No, you don't stop. want him. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's probably going to end up in, in, in Y. Thank you, Lance. How will he do in New York? Well, come on. Really? I, I mean, you know, he, the guy's got a golden arm. Does have a golden arm. <laughs> Five-cent head, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking Jay Cutler gets no respect, man. True. Don't care. Yeah. Uh, he, he's going to be so great on the Jets. Oh, my gosh. Just, just embrace no, it, man. Do, I think they'll do all right. Embrace all right. it. Yeah, Brandon Marshall, when asked, you know, hey, what, what do you think of the. Is that. I, I asked him point blank, is that why you asked for your release? Because you thought Cutler was coming. He said no. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. But then he said. <laughs> Uh, but then, but he, then said, he said it wouldn't have been good. Yeah, yeah he said it wouldn't have been good. He wouldn't have been comfortable. It wouldn't have been a good situation. Yeah. Uh, like the situation he had the year before it was good. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.